Hello. Hi everybody. Hello. This is Lucifia. This is still me. Hello, hello. It's been such a long time since we saw each other. So now I'm seated and quite comfortable. I received uh, an email from a female and um, she asked me if I could demonstrate a spell that would help her to overcome her fears of life and uh, her deep-seated depression. And for such situations I really have uh, some spells. I am human too and um, once upon a time I do had deep-seated fears and I had a depression, some sadness due to a breakup and so on. So spell work can actually help to lift up that depression because when we do spell work we are actually influencing our subconscious mind. So I have some two even more spells here uh, but I will demonstrate only two. How do you do it like this? <laughs> <laughs> only two. So uh, for this spell you will need the tarot cards, the ace of swords and the queen of swords here in my mouth. So and the ace of swords represents the beginning of a new thought pattern, a new idea because when you uh, are doing a spell and asking the spirits, the demons or the gods to help you lift up your depression, you have to introduce a new idea into your subconscious mind, a new thought and go after it and focus your attention only on that thought. So you will need the ace of swords and you will need if you are a female you will need the queen of swords you see the figure is seated confidently fearlessly and if you are a male you can pick up the king of swords but you should have this ace of swords um, anyway and the oils and the herbs which I use are such. I use jasmine oil because jasmine is a healing plant and moreover I have come very near to this demon Samnok and I call upon him almost all the time. I am addicted to this demon so I use jasmine oil along with this seal for example. Jasmine oil is good, then lavender oil is also a herb of protection and love and it can help you to lift up that depression. Also mint can help you, it's a healing plant and it chills down these sharp emotions of sadness and so on, gives you some kind of clearness in your thoughts. Then, of course, I use, I think it's called chamomile in English. It is for good sleep. This herb is very good for good sleep, for healing depressions. Then I also use thyme, timjan in Swedish. I use this herb. Nutmeg is a healing herb. In India, uh, when uh, people have a cold, they green the nutmeg and mix it with something, maybe with milk. They mix it into a paste and then apply it to the nose to kind of dry out all that infection, to pull it out of the 
respiratory system and also uh, ginger is very good it's a healing uh, root it um, lifts up the apathy and depression and then also what do you call bay leaf bay leaf it's also such a herb that helps you to become strong and feel victorious over life and to helps you to feel confident and battle down your fears and then also um, for example you if you are depressed you may want to use some valeriana pills and you take out so many pills you think that you will need for two weeks or something and place it for example on the seal of your favorite demon in this case for example i would recommend that you summon uh, lucifer and um, ask him to help you heal your depression and to battle down your fears hello hello everybody i am back my camera is not happy today i am back so i'm sorry for this technical issue sometimes cameras don't behave as you expect them to behave so i had described the herbs you will need and I have described the oils that you will need. Uh, you can perform this spell in a way that suits you. Um, this is the seal of Lucifer and I do the evocations of Lucifer during each and every ritual. First I call upon Lucifer because he is my main patron and then for example, I got addicted to this demon. He is my best ally, Sabnok. I call upon him nowadays perhaps five times per week because I cannot live without this demon. He is my best ally. And this is uh, to build up your psychological uh, boundaries and um, feel safe and secure in life uh, and not so many people work with this demon so it feels like he is my own private demon um, if you for example if you are battling some illness and feel fear due to the illness and don't know how to cure it there are demons like Marbas and Hiramail and you can call upon this demon Hiramail I hope that you see the seal like this this demon is described in the Grimorion Viaro and also if you are dealing with difficult people and you want good advice from a demon then call upon Sestugriel. This demon is a mentor, a teacher in the area of magic and he will help you, give you wise advice how to overcome difficulties and how to deal with difficult people. And uh, if for example you are experiencing a heartbreak and you know um, when a relationship ends, a long relationship ends, uh, we experience a shock. We don't believe that it's over, we experience a shock. But then comes this, the second stage when all the fears, all the insecurities start to come to the surface of the subconscious and we, especially women, begin to think oh, how will I manage life now without my husband or without my partner I am all alone and uh, moreover the fears of life how will I do this how will I overcome this problem and so on 
it is so scary so this is a good demon to work with epos from the goetia he will make you brave and empower you this is your demon then and all these seals that i have described these ones they can be combined in different ways and become a component of your mojo bag which you will keep near your bed or carry in your bag all the time so now to the spell uh, this is a courage spell and uh, I use a black candle and I have uh, um, painted it with olive oil and then with garlic because garlic repels the fear and repels all these uh, feelings of worry and uh, you know that which is scary that which we often feel in the gut so for example if I call upon yes these are the two cards we were talking about the ace of swords and the queen of swords and uh, here is my old spell I called upon for example some knock and I placed um, first of course I do the evocation of Lucifer inside my circle I do the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram before I call Lucifer and some knock because I oftentimes form a blood bond I apply blood to this seal of both of Lucifer and Sabnok. So I call, uh, I compose my own evocation. For example, uh, I call you Fort, Demon Sabnok, come to me from the sphere of Gamaliel, which is ruled by the planet Moon. I need your help and I need your support. I need this and that. I want you to be here with me then for example I place the seal on my altar and I place these two cards here and I can apply some oils typically jasmine because jasmine is the scent of Gamaliel I apply jasmine oil to the seal of um, Sabnok and then I place my palm on the cards and on the seal and then I read my spell three times. Um, charge, Subnok, charge these cards with your power, make my fears run and go sour. Charge the Ace of Swords with your rawest power that will go, grow stronger with each passing hour armed with bravery and nerve, which I so much deserve. The Queen of Swords is me, fearless, self-confident and free, who stars are perfectly aligned to work my spell as it is designed for the highest good of all involved, as I say, so what it be. And then I raise power. I can, for example, take a napkin and apply some of these oils to the seal and back into the napkin the herbs that I was talking about and then fold everything and stuff into this bag the cards don't fold the cards because you will damage them but you can fold the seal and this stuff in the package with the herbs into this for example you can fold the seal stuff inside and the cards and the herbs and then keep this mojo bag near your uh, bed and if you do a spell, if you do spells with Subnock regularly, uh, you will become psychic. He will wake you up in the middle of the night when something is not okay. 
and you will see vision, visions. Yeah, you will see visions. What's going on? And uh, the next day, you can do a uh, aura cleansing ritual to clean the aura from the malaise and or send back the cars. So this this demon is very good. He is a bodyguard, and um, if you do a spell with Sustogriel, uh, he will teach you a lot about magic. Your understanding of magic will expand a lot. You can also make um, a mojo bag with his seal and also with these two cards. Um, all these demons are very very kind and they will support you. Not only will Sustogriel teach you magic but he will support you too. And the same applies to Lucifer and to Epos. Um, he knows, Epos knows everything about the past, the present and the future. And you will be well informed about the issues of the past the issues of the present and the future to come. You can also, for example, if you fear the future, you don't know when you will get a job or when you will meet a new lover and you are heartbroken. Work with Epos. You can also charge your jewelry. Place jewelry on the seal when you are doing a ritual. Place your necklace, ankh, or whatever you wear, place it on the seal of Epos and word your spell uh, accordingly to heal the heart break, to become brave and healed and whole. And you can also do make moja bags with his seal, a very good demon. So, and of course, then now it's too much, too much information. Uh, yeah, charge the Valeriana pills on the seals of the demons. I had told you about this. Then this little thing, uh, black pentacle, or you can color whatever color you like. It's made out of cardboard, and such a uh, pentacle is good to have over your bed because you never know what comes in into your home. Um, I know a lot of things can come in so for example one time I was uh, between two jobs and I was worried very worried for the future and I could not sleep I was so uh, stressed that even the Valeriana did not help me then I did a spell with this pentacle inside my ritual circle and I used um, chamomile and some oils. I applied the oils like lavender and jasmine I applied to this one and I said like this uh, for peaceful sleep I pray for peace of mind without delay which is shield Come alive with this spell, I renew your life. A guardian of sleep you are. I'll sleep and worry will stay far. What else did I say? Give me plenty of peaceful sleep that is rejuvenating and deep. For clairvoyant dreams, I pray. For divine guidance without delay which is shield bewitched by me is a miracle and so shall it be all stars are perfectly aligned to work my spell as it is designed for the good of all involved as i say so what it be i said like this three times too when i was doing the spell i raised power and then projected into this one and then i hung this above my bed Immediately after two three days, 
I could relax. I was so tired and sleepy in the evenings that I went to bed at nine. I was so relaxed. And during the same period, I went to the supermarket. One day I went to the supermarket and I was opening this shelf with the milk inside. You know, the, uh, not the freezer, but the refrigerator in the supermarket. And I saw a pentaka like this. Somebody had drawn it on the door of the refrigerator with the finger like this you know that there are some drops of water somebody had drawn it and I thought there are no witches here in Sweden who would draw this but I recognized it so this was the sign the spell is working so uh, you have control over how you feel. You have control. You can use herbs, you can go upon demons, and the demons are always there to support you. Then what you can do is, if you dare to do such magic, I, I did such spells many times and I've done pacts with my own doll. For example, I can stuff in thoughts I write them down on the piece of paper what I want myself to think in my future what kind of thoughts to change my thought pattern uh, I stuff this kind of um, I fold the paper and stuff it inside my own doll's head cavity and I can use this herb chamomile that gives that kind of peace of mind and serenity, good mood and so on, good sleep. And I use it inside my own doll and I also wrapped uh, several seals of demons around my own doll. This, around this doll I have wrapped the seal of Lucifer and the seal of Lucifuge. This is a pact. Uh, when I was feeling insecure without a love partner, when the re my relationship, long, long term relationship ended, and I experienced a shock, you know, and I went on dating sites and I wanted to find a new partner immediately, but at the same time, I was afraid to get involved with a new partner. Then I did this spell with Lucifer and I lost all interest in dating. I was so happy to be on my own by myself so I left those dating sites and I am thankful to Lucifer and to the demons for their support. So and of course I'm talking so much today so much information so of course you can use affirmations.